Hello world, welcome back to CodingScientist.com Artificial Intelligence and Robotics on Jetson Nano using NVIDIA's JetBot Kit Alright guys, so we are on lesson number Let's take a look at our manual We are on lesson number 28 And we are going to configure the PS3 controller which came along with your JetBot Kit It's, it's, it's something like this So let me show you what we need to be doing here all right, so this is the controller which you would have received uh, along with your JetBot kit. Do go ahead and procure uh, two uh, AAA batteries. Uh, it's available in any shops, you know, nook and corner. So you can just insert two, um, you know, two, two of these batteries inside. And then you would have received a small Bluetooth uh, dongle, which is paired with this uh, PS3 controller which is a pair which is basically a set right so when you open the kit basically uh, inside the battery uh, jack the battery slot this will be placed this comes along with this inside so you you got to open the cover you know the cover is like this you got to open the cover and you can find this particular dongle inside okay go ahead and remove that now pay attention guys many folks get confused where do i plug this many a times what happens is people end up plugging this in your jetson nanos usb well that is wrong right you got to plug this dongle in your laptop in your windows machine laptop right any of the usb port you can just plug it in okay so i'm going to plug it in right now on my uh, system i just plugged it in you heard a noise all right now what we need to do you need to switch on the joystick okay so the the there is a on and off switch at the back just on this and you can see a beautiful red color led glowing inside the ps3 controller now what you need to do open a browser and you need to go to this particular site called gamepad hyphen dash tester.com https forward slash forward slash gamepad dash tester.com so this is there in the manual i had documented the steps in the manual so go through that once you log into the one sorry not log in just open the browser you can see that you are uh, you know the, this particular ps3 controller has to be connected automatically to this particular site so if you move any of this joystick button, you can see the grids will, the position will change. For example, see B1 at the bottom here. Can you see this is B100, it changes to one. And then I move this joystick. Okay, if I move this joystick, axis, the axis changes here. Can you see this? Axis changes. Okay, and even the timestamp. Now you press any say home button, okay, B12 changes and then the axis changes and this entire grid actually for each of this button, basically each of these buttons, this grid positions, the number, the numerical value basically changes. Now the most important aspect you need to understand is make a note of this index. Here it says index 1. This is for my joystick here. For you, it might be index zero. So make a note of it, either index one or index zero, because in the next lesson, we will be using index zero or index one, uh, you know, in the next code for teleoperation. So make a note of it. We will be modifying the code. I will show you how to do that and then control your jet bot using the PS3 controller. So guys, uh, go ahead and do these changes and configure and set it up, do the testing. Uh, and, and make sure that your joystick is working perfectly because in the next lesson we will be going ahead with the teleoperation mode for JetBot. I am going to be back soon. Do stay tuned guys. Bye bye.